Uh, we're here again with Sarah Swati, and, and um, can you tell us how Maharaji worked on you through other people? <laughs> I think he worked on all of us uh, in that way. Just It was such an uh, easy <laughs> way to help you learn about yourself. I have one example that uh, uh, I could... There's this one woman that uh, saw Maharaji as a husband, as her partner, and she was jealous of all other women. Now, I happen to have all the same privileges she did. I, I would be allowed to live in the ashram. Um, I would be allowed to come into his room uh, when everybody else was locked out, I could open the door and walk in. So could she. Uh, she hated that. <laughs> and so it was like a jealousy kind of thing. And she would do things like when we're in the same room together, she would be waving the, the fan or the cloth to keep the flies off. And there were no flies, but we all did that. And then she would hit me with them. <laughs> or if I bow down to touch him, she would put her body in the way to keep me from touching him. You know, it was quite funny. And it wasn't funny at the time, but looking back. <laughs> Now, and this went right on uh, the whole two years I was there. She was uh, um, a difficult uh, trial for me to not <laughs> want to hit her or something. I mean, sometimes I would leave, just my heart was broken. Uh, but when, when we would be allowed to stay in the ashram quite often, um, uh, I would be given permission to stay in the ashram, and Maharaji would always assign me to be her roommate. So there'd be the two of us in the same room. Um, <laughs> It was never pleasant. It was like uh, for me walking into sort of a hell realm of burning coals because she would just glare at me. <laughs> so just, okay, that goes on for the year and a half, two years I was there. And after, when, after Maharaji died, um, <laughs> I go up to Kenshi. I, I hitch a ride or get a train or something and I come to Sidima and she says, oh, we have just one bed left for you. The, over there. And she points to a room. And she said, it's with, and she said, that same woman. And I'm going to room with her now after Maharaji died. Oh, no. So I get there, and she's completely transformed because there's no competition now. And she actually apologized, said, I was so mean to you. I felt so bad what I did to you, how I treated you. And she's, she's been nice to me ever since. But it was <laughs> um, what the teaching for me was, of course, is, uh, well, I don't know what words I would use, but... Uh, let that be. I mean, this is not me. Uh, she can't really touch what Maharaji is. I mean, she won't let me touch that body. She uh, uh, tries to keep me away. But that's not the teaching of who Maharaji is. The teaching is, is uh, again, uh, the presence being in that space of love. So uh, for me, in a way, she was helping me to not get attached to his form, if you can get that oh. funny little thing. Now, that was never put in words, uh, but the teaching for me through the two years was to uh, quit focusing on him as, as the guru and find it within. And that's been the teaching I've had my entire life, the mm -hmm. spiritual teaching. And yeah. this woman was just, you know, a very colorful chapter. <laughs>